Hello, friends. We are back again. Okay, so I have this mesh strainer, and it's old. And I kind of wanted to zhuzh it up a little bit for Valentine's Day. So I thought I'm going to paint this handle red. I, I'm actually going to use my crimson chalk paint today. Uh, it's a different red. It's more bright, but I am going to distress it so um, it'll take down that brightness uh, like a couple notches. So I have these hearts that I wanted to use and um kind of liking the doubling up lately. I've kind of been doing like a layered kind of thing with it. So I'm thinking I might go in, you know, with the hearts like this and then another one in the front and then like greenery and flowers in between. So it's just a thought right now. Hopefully that will happen. So I have this tile again and we all know this is Dollar Tree or Family Dollar sells these. And I really, you know, it's a very decorative, it's pretty, it's flowers, it's very Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go ahead and use this on the biggest one. I'll get it lined up. And I'm going to actually do this on the back. I just peel this self-adhesion, self-adhesive thing off. Because it doesn't work very well, in my experience. So I want to go ahead and follow the lines of this tile with the heart. That's usually what I do. It comes out comes out pretty cute. I'm trying to keep it lined up. There we go. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to be pretty precise with my line. It is going to probably overlap a little bit, but I can go in and cut that. Okay. Now, let's check this out. So, I'm just going to center it as best as I can. And then... And then I can, uh... Well, I should probably attach it, but I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up. How did you guys like seeing the animals? I had requests to show the animals and uh, so I did a quick little video and they're so sweet. Alright, that's pretty good right there. So we put this away. Alright, so accidentally just ripped this thing apart. So I'm just going to rip a piece off here. And I will do the tracing again, but actually what I'm going to do, if this is going that way, this one's going to go this way. So I think I'm going to put the words on the heart crooked so that they actually stand up straight when you're looking at the heart because it's going to be attached on its side like this. So that is what I will do. I'm going to trace this one as well. cut that out. So this one only gets um, Mod Podge, but I actually need to paint this first. So we're doing the brown, we're doing the red, and this one's going to be the brown. Oh, actually, what I need to do is use my Java paint. This is actual chalk paint, not the wax, so it'll stick better. Yeah, see? Much better. All right. So now I can attach this with my Mod Podge. And then I will I will trim the edges with sandpaper. Oops, side. So, just taking sandpaper and if you go along the edges, for those of you that don't know, when you're using paper uh, and you use the sandpaper, it, it makes a clean cut for you. Okay, so this one, let's see if the glue gun is ready. Because I'm just going to go ahead and put this right on here. And I'll, I'll do this with the paint. I'm going to have to paint this um, an ivory color first. And then this goes over it, and that's what really gives it the uh, antique look. 
So let's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's ready. Put that on there. And then I'll lift this tail up and to put it on the point. Um, yes, the the hot glue does. You can see where it kind of melts the heart a little bit. For me, I'm perfectly fine with that. I have no issues with that. It just adds to the uh, distressed look for me. If you don't like that, you can try E6000 or some other way of adhering things if you don't like it to, to melt. I have seen some people that don't like that at all. So, All right, so now let's, uh, let's see about doing getting this watered down. Putting it on that way and be ready for it. <laughs> maybe do the edge first and see. Yeah, it's working as long as I'm really fast about wiping it off. So I'm just going to do one section at a time. Now I can still see the words. It's dark, but I still see the words. Um, so I'm going to go in and put some paint on these edges. And it's okay if it gets on the paper on the edges. All that's going to do is make it look like more distress. So I'm fine with that. So that's that. We're going to let that dry a little bit. All right. Now let's go with our ivory chalk paint. Now use the chalk paint on this stuff again because it is um, it's a slick surface. So and chalk paint sticks to everything. So well, almost everything. I did go to the store to try to find more of this, and they were out of the ivory kind. So that's not okay. I will check back. But I only need one coat really of this. Yeah, it's definitely almost gone. Okay, that's good. So let's come in with this and uh, I'm gonna put my paintbrush in here. And we're just gonna basically stain over it. We're gonna get these edges. Not gonna worry about the back because you're not gonna see it. All right. I also found at Michael's actually, I found um, those clickable stamps. The, the letters that you can click together so that when you um, want to stamp a word, you're not guessing <laughs> where, where, uh, where to put the next letter. I'm going to use Java on this too. I like using it inside all of these little like nooks and crannies. Basically, uh, that's where and I, and I like getting the second color in here, and also it will tie in with this one. I can put that away. I'm going to go in with the Java. I'm just going to not even clean my brush. Again, use those fingers. They are great tools. So, uh, just so you guys know, I have really been figuring out my whole, you know, space situation for going live. And it looks like this coming week, I'm going to be able to. I'm going to set it up actually probably in my shop, which isn't that big, but I think if I get the right table and stuff, I can, uh, I can make it work. I'm excited about it. Never gone live before. I've done, made videos for years and years, but never done live before. I don't know what the deal is with Facebook. Actually, I'm going to ask you guys. If anybody knows this, please let me know. Uh, I am having issues with Facebook. So for my content to get monetized, I, ha I, I meet all the criteria for like in-stream ads and stuff. Except for the fact that Facebook keeps saying that I haven't met the um, content monetization policy but when I go look at policy violations it says there's none so I don't know what to do 
I have email, I have tried to check everything I can possibly check. There's, I have nothing, I don't know what I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's very frustrating because I qualify otherwise. And this, you know, the, I put a lot of work into these videos and I do all the editing, I do all the videos, I have the shop I have to run, making everything, like I do everything. And it's a, it's a lot of work trying to keep up with the standards for Facebook. It's, it's a job. And I, and I would like to figure out why I'm not getting monetized. There's, there's nothing else. And I would really like the ads on the reels. I have tons of reels. Still nothing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So if anybody happens to know or has been through this, please let me know because I really have no clue what to do. I'm at my wits end with this. So I grabbed these. So I have, I have some, of, whoops, I have some of these. Um, and then these are the snappable ones. They're clickable stamp set. And these are from Michaels. These are genius. I, I, they're absolutely genius. <laughs> I wish I thought of that. <laughs> and I'm going to do this heart, which is going to be the red. And the red, uh, is, like I said, it's crimson. It is a brighter, almost pink type of red. So now I'm going to get my Waverly and we're going to go ahead and distress this. I'm just kind of testing it first to see. It's still pretty red. It's just a little bright. Okay, that's good. Still see the red. But I'm going to add a little bit darker. I might have to go in with black on this. I feel like it's just too... Um, I don't know. It's kind of hiding. It doesn't look... There we go. That's much better. It's more defined. See how I'm just... You know, I'm all, I always use this darker... The darker colors in nooks and crannies. Because that's where you would notice... Uh, dust and stuff gathering. That's where all the stuff gathers on antiques. So with the black, I'm going on the low areas. So with with the uh, iced espresso luster, like that rub and buff stuff, that was the high areas. This I'm going in the low. There. Liking that. What do you guys think? Much better. And I'm using a fairly dry brush here. This isn't, like I put a little bit of paint, wipe it off, and it's almost like the residue part of the paint is what I'm using. So that that's lovely. I like that. So now we have this little guy, which to tie it in more, I'm going to put some black on it. thought about doing something that I did uh, on another project with something like this. And I put a little teeny red heart in the corner. All right, so that's going to look cute. Now I want to paint this handle. I really want it. I don't, I feel like it's bland right now. I want it to pop a little bit. So I'm just going to go in with my chalk paint. Okie dokie. So now we're going to go in with the black and just hit these edges as much as I can. And I'm okay that this is doing this to the, the uh, metal part because it just makes it look more aged. Like this looks really aged here. So I'm cool with, I'm fine with it. All right, so I think that handle looks much, much better. Back still drying. Um, so now it's really a matter of, I think, assembling this greenery in the back. And these are all new greeneries I got at uh, Michael's yesterday. And I wanted to kind of put it in different heights because of the way that the heart is going in here. So if I have it like that, come on, quit being just, just stubborn. And then I have flowers I can put in here. These are really white, so I'm, I'm gonna, I am gonna distress those. All right, so that's, that's more distressed that I can put here. 
Look at, see that so far? That's pretty. So I'm going to do the same thing in the front, but I have to glue everything one layer at a time. Okay, so I like the positioning of these, like that. Let's check out the heart. That's pretty. All right, so now I am going to glue this heart in. So I'm gluing the bottom of the heart. All right, let's do the next one. So there's this heart, which I'm actually going to distress a tiny bit. I feel like it's too perfect, even though it's got the black. I think it needs a little bit more. All right, this one is going to go in this way, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to um, glue in all the things and uh, and then layer it with uh, put the heart on there. So now comes the challenge because I don't want to cover this heart up like crazy. So this one's kind of curved. This can go here. Um, I have more of these. I mean, that looks cute. I do have more of these flowers as well. I have to cut this down. The, this one's stem is too long. So this one, though, I think can probably lay down here. Yeah, that's cute, right? Did So, again, I'm trying not to cover this heart fully. It's okay if it's a little covered. Um, I just don't want to hide it. I don't want it, like, to go away. Okay, guys. Well, I just realized that my battery had died, so I'm going to have to, when I go back, I'll figure out just how much did not record. But, just in case, um, i just letting you know that I did put flowers in here. The, there's three hearts in here. So, if, uh... You want to know something that ended up being left out, just let me know. Rule of three, people. Rule of three, right? Yes, that is what we are going for. I'm actually going to put the glue up here on the flower so that it's attached to the heart itself where I want it. Okay, now it's not going to go in. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. What do we think, guys? Isn't that cute? It's just different. Now, I'm just going to do... A bow and I'm gonna do probably the red ticking because of the red heart I want it to coordinate I think soon I'm gonna be doing a project with blue I have I've only done one with blue see that's gonna look nice this is gonna get distressed and I actually need to Mod Podge that handle but for now let me just make a bow and I don't want it to be a crazy bow because that's, this isn't a giant piece so I think I'm going to go probably two stripes wide and then rip it. Let me throw some Mod Podge on this handle real quick so I don't scratch it all off. See what else I can get out of this. I'm trying to get every last bit out of these pads. It's just taking the brightness off of it, the newness as I call it. Kind of looks like it's tea stained. And right now I'm just kind of going back and forth, making loops and turning it as I go. So, something like that right here. And then I do the messy um, part of the bow on the inside which I can just use this stuff for. I'm actually just gonna go with some of the, I'm gonna go with cheesecloth and flour sack, which reminds me, I need to tea stain more flour sack. And I'm just going all over the place with this. This is not a crisscross, this is more like a star. And I want these pieces pretty thin um, we're going to go in with cheesecloth. Now these, if I try to rip these, which would be preferable, um, they will just break off because they're too, they're already so thin. 
So I don't even bother trying to rip these thin, really thin ones. Okay, so what I need now is some twine. And I tied this type of bow two ways because it's it's really, I made it in a circle. So you gotta kinda tie it up both ways. So I just kinda find an area here to tie it. All right, and basically crisscross across this whole thing. I think actually we'll go on this side of the bow. I'm going to shake this real quick. It's a cute little bow. I want the messy bow part on the inside to be a little bit smaller than the ticking so that you can still see the ticking. All right, so now we can go in with like a little button, safety pins, bells, all that stuff. I need to rest more up. I am completely out. Okay, so... I think that's going to be cute right there, right? It's flat right now because I have to put the button on, but then I'll, I will puff it up. Yeah, that's better. And I think I'm going to put a tag. Let's put a tag with it. Yeah, all these itty bitty buttons. I just wonder if I should use those. I'll go with that. All right, I will thread it and then um, distress it. And then we'll, uh, we'll make a tag. Haha, <laughs> I get to use my new stamps. What are we going to put on there? Are we going to put Be Mine? Let's do that. That sounds good, right? Be Mine. I am going to distress. I'm going to stamp it first, then distress it. These are so little. Alright, let's go with B. <laughs> That's awesome. Mine. Alright, so... We will go ahead and... I don't care that there's lines there. I think those that looks fine. Go ahead and distress these edges. And then... Then, crinkle it up. Yep, crinkle, crinkle. Just... Squish it. <laughs> Give it all those awesome wrinkles. But this is why I stamp first, you can see, because it would be a little bit more difficult to stamp this properly when you have wrinkles everywhere. And I am going to go in with some of the brown. Again, it just gives it another layer. It's I know the paper is brown, but it's a different brown. And I'm going to take the black and skim the top after I'm done, because it will you'll get the black over all the tops of these wrinkles. Just layer. I must say that like 20 times in a video. <laughs> the word layer. It's my favorite word. There we go. That's cool. Okay, put this away. I'm kind of wondering if I should make another bow to go under it, like a little bit bigger. Well, I'm kind of stretching this out a little bit. That's That's better. I don't want it too big. I don't. I don't know. I feel like it just overpowers if the if the bow is huge. I don't know. Is that too small though? And then we'll put the tag in here. Do you think the bow is too small? I feel like it's too small, and it needs something else. This is a a bigger messy bow that I made. I wonder if I can kind of add them. made this one a while ago. It's just kind of sitting here. needs to be trimmed and all that. But I can take the button off. It's the same ticking. And then I can do this. And I feel like that would work. So we've got messy bow in the back, loop bow, messy bow in the front. What do we think? I like it. I'm going with it. I'm doing it. One thing I need to do though, distress this one. And then cut it a little bit because I've got some strays here. So we've got some pieces that are longer. I'm going to cut these things too. I don't want to cut them too much because I want it to stay bigger than the little one. So I am going to actually take off this button. And it should just pop off. There we go. 
Yay. Oh my gosh, I love it. Glad I had this extra one. So, let me tie these together. Let me do a shake. Look, you guys. Yay, that's so cute. I love a messy bow. Look at that. That's adorable. Oh, I'm liking this new bow, the messy and loop combo. Oh, get it? I'm going to call it that. Dibs. Messy loop combo. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, yes, yes. I am loving. What do you think? Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, I think I'll stick the tag somewhere in here. I'll put this on first. I'm going to tie it and glue it. Alright, make it even easier. Fix it because I just smushed it. Oh, I absolutely love this. I think this is fantastic. Yes, I do. Okay, now we have our tag, which I kind of want to go like under here. There we go. I think that's good right there. Right? Yeah, let's glue it in. Let's do it. Put that there. Put these down. Kind of smoosh it in there. Okay, guys, what do we think? I am just loving, loving this bow. I like the messy bow and the loops. It's pretty. So this will be available in my Etsy shop. I will put it up there actually right away as soon as I'm done with it. So if you're interested, head out over there. It's Country View Homestead on Etsy. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if anybody has an answer to my question about Facebook being ridiculous, let me know. So anyway, um, you guys have a great night, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.